Hello, welcome back to my channel. This time round is something a little bit different. I've done a makeup tutorial. I've been asked and asked and asked to do one. So I finally got around to doing it. It's not the most professional thing. The camera does fall over. It also features these lashes that I discovered today. I went to Pound World with my mum and they were just two quid. And they are hands down the mo my most favorite eyelashes I've ever worn. So if you wanna see how I apply them or just generally how to get this look, then keep on watching. Give us a thumbs up if you're feeling generous. Um, and give us a comment if you have any ideas of videos you want me to do, that would be great. So in about five seconds time, you're about to see me looking like a potato. So enjoy. So first of all, for primer, I take Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter in shade Luminous Gold. And I literally oh, put it all over. Don't ask why. Someone on YouTube did it, so I just copied them and it kind of works, so I've got it all over my hands. And then I take my beauty blender and I make it like a bit damp on a wet wipe. And then I just rub it all over. I look like the Tin Man. So after I've achieved the Tin Man look, I go ahead with my foundation, which is Fenty Beauty in shade 240. Then I put three pumps on my hand and then just go from there. After I have absolutely covered my face with the foundation, I go in with my Kat Von D concealer in shade L15 Neutral. <sighs> a dog hair on me. Um, then I put loads under my eyes to get rid of my mum bags. Like so. Then I put it down my nose, on my lip and my chin. Dampen off my blue blender, but the other side now, the pointy side, and then I just dab. As you can see, the concealer is just incredible. I would highly recommend it. I literally could not live without it. Then using my, I think this is, yeah, Revolution Iconic Contour Pro Palette. I'm running low. I just grabbed some more, but it's not that expensive. I think it's like a tenner, maybe even less. Um, and it comes with your bronzers at the bottom. Uh, you've got two highlighters and two powders. Uh, with the yellowy one, I go ahead and set the whole of my face with this brush that, on my finger, it's Primark. I look so silly, can you imagine if I went out of the house like that? Well, you won't look like this in the end, guys, don't worry. Gone from Tin Man to Casper the Ghost. Right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I use Sleek Makeup Eyebrow Kit in Extra Dark. This is the brush I do use, it's an angled brush. It's the only one I've found that I can actually do my eyebrows with. It's just like really easy to hold with it being quite small. Um, today I'm going to go for quite bushy brows. I've been growing my eyebrows out. They don't look like it, but I did like shave the ends off at one point. So I'm attempting to grow them out. And I start by doing a line underneath, as you will see. Then 
Then I'm gonna go in and do the top part. go back in with the bottom and drag it all the way down like so and then back into the top part and join those two up and then just colour it in okay, then I go back in with the powder just to set that part Then I'm gonna just get a little bit of product on the brush. And then what I do is I just do hair-like strokes, as you will see. Like so, so I'm creating the illusion that there's actually hairs there when there really is not. <laughs> don't match but they're meant to be sisters not twins yeah you get the gist of that <laughs> look how odd they look because i've got like nothing else on they look like two like huge slugs then what i do um to get the bushiness i get my mascara which is maybelline new york then i just take it off with a baby wipe stab it a few times especially the end bit it like clogs on the end then what i do is i go in with like brush strokes up try not to touch the brow too much because you don't want too much product on there They kind of look a bit silly now, but they're not going to in the end, hopefully. I'm going to start on my eye makeup now. Uh, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia, 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 whatever you want to call it. It's quite beautiful. I'm going to go in with this shade. Uh, then I'm just going to put that in my crease. So I'm going to put it underneath, just because I'm feeling a bit adventurous. And then the same again to the other side. I'm going to go in with the brown colour, can't pronounce that one either, but it's fine. Uh, I'm going to leave that more in the that area, you'll see in a sec. Which is Maybelline New York Matte Liquid Charcoal. And once they're looking like moderately the same, totally different, they're not matching today, I'm in a rush. Then I go in with 
these bad boys and curl my lashes. And I go in with my mascara. Right, so I go in with, I mix them all together because there's not that much left of all of them. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this. We're getting there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I've run out of blush yet, so I've been using this eyeshadow, which isn't kind of bad because it kind of matches my eyeshadow a bit, so. Oh, what's the camera doing, girl? Right, I need to con a little little can we need to contour this snout of mine I'm just gonna use the same one I used for my eyes to swipe it off a bit uh, then I go in with this orangey color not that there's much left first of all I like the end of my nose to look like it's quite pointy don't ask why but I literally draw a line there so it makes it like look more pointy you don't have to do that, that's just what I do. And then I blend that down. Then I go ahead and down the sides just to make it look a bit thinner. Like that. And I put like a little bit there. Um, then I just totally blend that out with my hands. I don't want it to look like I've actually got contour there. Uh, then I'm going to go in with my Sleek Makeup Highlighter Palette. I'm going to go in with this one right here. I uh, just dab it on my finger. The more the merrier, you know. I use the same brush that I've used for the whole look uh, on this powdery one at the top. But now I'm gonna go in with some fake freckles. I know I wasn't um, naturally born with such beauty, but I'm gonna steal it anyway. I literally used the same brush from my eyebrow kit and then the orangey one there is not really a tip for this you can literally just go crazy so i've put what i want on so then i just go back with my beauty blender and just blend them in a bit so they don't look as fake <laughs> Right, that'll do. And I go to my go-to, I go to my go-to, I go to my go-to lipstick, which is Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. I live in this stuff. Uh, there's not really a tip for this. This thing's quite amazing, so just paint it on to whatever shape you want your lips. I had, <laughs> I had that in the way, didn't I? Sorry about that. <laughs> Try that again. for the bottom I don't like my lips to look 
all one colour so I go in with this lighter one which is from Primark uh, and I put it on like the middle part like that and I go in with my darkest bronzer don't ask why I don't know where I got this idea from but I just mat it off and make it map so it stays so if I'm like having a drink or a bit of food and I want to slather it's fine girl I've got you eyelashes I've actually run out of eyelashes but I went to pound world today and they had these bad boys and they actually look all right two quid they're called brit rocks vintage lost the glue right i don't think i'm going to chop anything off of these normally i chop a bit off but i'm gonna gonna attempt to bob them on just the size they are and i'm going to attempt to use the glue it's come with as well so we'll see Oh, they're very right plasticky. Plasticky. <laughs> that was right, Yorkshire. Right. I lather it on, and then I actually put a bit on. Here. Don't ask why, it just sticks better. And then blow it. <laughs> What I actually think they're all right. But they're actually not bad for two quid. Usually they're pretty like terrible, but if they stick, I will actually give them a really good rate. You know what guys? These eyelashes are actually Freaking amazing. That's speaking as though if it falls off then I'm gonna be right mad because they're quite like hard but I actually love it. Check out my two pound lash. <laughs> right I'm gonna go ahead and stick the other on. Hopefully the other one won't fall off in the process. This camera angle is horrible can right see that chin of mine. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put more glue on this one. Really bad lighting. Look at that. How amazing that is. Girl. That is pretty, pretty frigging great. I don't move in case they fall off and I'll cry because I think they're pretty friggin' awesome. Two pound! I'm gonna float away. Right, that is the actual finished look. I can't get this camera right, I'm terrible at this. This is the finished look, except for my hair. Let's take it down, see what it's see what this bad boy's doing. I, like filled it with dry shampoo earlier, so. There we go, this is my Minus the greasy hair, finished look.